All right, all right, all right, all right. Sounds good. Uh, let's put this together. That shower's looking good. What you think? This was interesting to find out that they had just capped that three inch line. It's almost like they put it in here um, knowing this might be a future bathroom. That's the only thing I can think because it's not acting as a vent. Mm -mm. So they use this line as their vent. Yeah. You know what? That, that two inch may be big enough. I don't know. We we'll just have to see to use it as a vent. But anyway, I'm kind of digging this shower. What we did was we recessed it back into the the attic, the new attic space. But Eric, let me show you what I was thinking about. What I was thinking about this little door. We need to put a little door right here, going into the attic, the new attic space we created. So what I want to do is just um, you got your wall coming up like this. Um, You'll have your stud, let's see, that's your plate and your jack. And then see your header will you just use two before headers for this. See? Mm -hmm. You just cut and this would be it uh you'd raise this up to where this was uh, 26 inches in the rough opening. So you'd have one there, and then I keep lowering the camera. <laughs> and then this would go all the way up, like that. See? Mm. Then you just probably have one. One stud right in the middle. So that supports our header on this side. And then you have a, you know, your typical double there. So we'll do that right here. And that'll give us a door, a 24 inch door into there. From here. You know, yeah, just go up. Until, Until it's 26 inches. Yeah, I keep going up, 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 up. Well, it's 27 and a half from there. Oh, okay. Right? And, yeah, you know, yeah, we want our inside. You want to add, you're going to add your jack uh, here. Right. So that's inch and a half. And then you want 26 inches from there. Right. Okay. Just like that. There's a drawing, as Bob Vila would say. <laughs> no, Norm says drawing, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Alrighty. Cool. He has to whether to keep that funky space there. See if I can back out far enough where people can see that. We're trying to debate whether this space back in that little corner should stay in this bathroom or should we just frame this wall straight over and have shelving beside the shower hopefully Nancy's going to be here soon and she can answer that question that's where our corner sink's going to go now have you figured out how to move this light switch yet? No, over to there that's going to become our ground fault for the sink all right let's see if I can get back far enough to show you our new bathroom framed up in this bedroom. Looking pretty good. We're going to have a pocket door 
that opening is like 62 inches because we're going to have a 2-6 pocket door right there. So you're opening, and I hope, hope to get that. We'll, we'll uh, video that, uh, the installation of that pocket door to give you an idea how that works. But, um, and I think we're going to just leave this open to, cr to make sure that we keep that, so give it sort of an open feel. We'll probably just enclose above the shower so we can vent the shower out. But, uh, that's a look at our shower, our uh, bathroom framing so far. Got some funky stuff going on here, which is kind of interesting, creates kind of a interesting feel for the ceiling area. up here to, to throw out this that section way, here. That way we don't have a little flat spot in the corner. After. Yeah, we're trying to do away with that little flat spot so we have a clean transition there. And then I'm going to bring out a header down to here to go across so we can give a thickness here for the tile. So that our tile isn't just big. right. So our tile doesn't go down to, to nothing or to an inch and a half or whatever. Can you kind of show the header kind of a visual where the yeah? And see, that gives us some thickness right there. Yeah, that'll be good. It'll also create a little pocket inside the shower for steam collection, and then that steam will just uh, condensate and run down the tile. So that would be cool. So we decided to do shelves on this side and the door still goes over there. We just talked with Nancy the whole time. Who I'm eventually going to trap. So that she can't get away from the video camera. <laughs> Alright, well it's looking good artist Eric. Anything to say for yourself? <laughs> no. <laughs>